Okay, this video is for our friend Dace here. Uh, we're gonna sh teach you about AccuSet 2. Now, first thing you do, you got a new mill, so you're gonna want to make sure your gradient is set, which to do that, you hit not that button. <laughs> uh, calibrate head right here, gradient right there. That's the number, you can change that number with these buttons here, I'm not gonna touch it. Uh, but to find that number, go on up to your transducer, my bobber. Uncover it from all that stuff right in there. There's a sticker on it and a number, and it'll say gradient. And <coughs> whatever. <clears throat> uh, you'll have to excuse the cleanliness. We're uh, in the middle of remodeling right now, so she's all cleaned up. <laughs> um, so that button I hit before is your rounding feature. So say you're right here and you're going quick. You want to get her to 20 inches. So you've gone over here, you get her close to 20 inches, hit that button and it'll bring you to 21 because you were rounding it right here. There you go, you got her to 20. So that's that. Um, you're gonna want to set your curve. So here, go on to the curve. I have it at 0.125. That makes it so that all my numbers are hitting evenly. It might not be a perfect 0.125 for the curve. I think it's a little less, I'm not sure. That works good for me. <coughs> uh, calibrate in your head. You go up to here, you bring your head to 12 inches, get it close, measure from your uh, down set tooth to the bed, the front bed rail, and then you hit sell it, set it 12 inches. And um, to save everything when you change stuff right there, see that? Um, okay, so then manual mode is pretty hard to figure out. It's just manual mode. That's it. Um, so now we go to auto down mode, which uh, this is pretty basic. It just says my head is where my head is at and I'm gonna take a cut here. Then I'm gonna hit this button here and it's gonna bring me down from where I was to how far that number was and it's gonna make a board that thick. So that's, it's gonna, it has your curve already set into it. So that's all you do there. Uh, auto up and that, and you got, you know, a bunch of different sets. You got, you just keep hitting these buttons and they'll cycle through. You've got 16 of them, I believe, see. And uh, I just had to recount. I just set my head all the way back. My computer was just completely reset because we had our pit value set differently when I first got it uh, to go slower set until it wore in. So now it's wore in, we have it back to the factory settings, which to do that, you hold that reference button with the thing off, turn it off, Hold the reference button. I'll show you. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. See, so you just hold that and turn the keys and you say overwrite the parameters, but we just, we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna shut it right back off. I don't know if that matters, but. <clears throat> your, uh, your reference button is, uh, say you just finished the log, you just dragged the rest of the stuff back. And uh, so now I always, uh, Boom, number three, boom. Now if the head is moving, cause you, after you drag it back, your head is on the, you know, pretty low. So I hit that reference mode, boom, bring it back. The head goes by itself to where it needs to be. You can set these by just, you know, you can move it with these numbers here. And uh, then you don't, don't hit store here if you moved it with your numbers, you know. That's gonna make it store here means that it's gonna store it here at 24 inches where the head is. So you can move the head to where you want it to go and hit store here, or you can move it with that and then come back out of there somehow by hitting that button right there and then hitting up, hit and save, hit and save. Um, auto up is the same thing as auto down. Just pretty much you're gonna go, say you're taking your slab cut or something and you say, oh, I think I get one more board out of that. Or say you're in pattern mode and you have it so that you're coming down to, uh, I guess, I don't wanna walk it all the way that far. Say you're coming down, you're already close and you're coming into uh, nine inches here. And I don't know, say you're just going boom and you say, all right, I wanna make it so that I can get one more extra board out of that instead of taking a shim or something. You hit your auto up and say you go to, I don't know, one of these numbers, they're all out of whack, like I said. I would do five eighths or something, hit up, and then you can go and change it back to down. Um, your pattern mode, basically, pretty self-explanatory. 
you've got all these different modes. You want to set it to wherever you want to set it to. So say, here's one that's not been changed. You want to change that setting. You just hit this button here and you start bringing it down. So now we have it, we're going to set it here. So say we want to take two inch boards down to an eight inch can. We're cutting two by eight, say, you know, so you could hold it and it would go faster, but then it goes too fast. So then we're going to come all the way down. Now we're going to go here and hit that. And that's going to bring us there. Once you do this, if you turn it off without saving it, you're going to lose all your settings. So then we're going to hit manual mode. We're going to hit up. We're going to hit save twice. Now we just save that. That's in our pattern mode. Now to get to that, we just hit the buttons, you know, however we got to it. So you want to get boom and it goes right through the cycle. So, um, I know I've been all over the place. That's kind of how I work, but uh, hopefully that might help you a little bit. You know, manual is just manual. So you want to get to 13 inches, you're at 13 and eighth. You hit that button that rounds it to the nearest number. Auto down brings you from where you're at to whatever that number is right there. So like I say, and you know, you're coming in, say you have the, you want your slab cut right there at 12 and 15, 16, then you want to come in, you want to drop an inch and an eighth. So then boom, there you go. You make your cut, you pick up, you drag back, you hit down and it'll bring you an inch and an eighth lower than where it was. Auto up mode, as you're coming in, you say, hey, looks like I get an extra board out of that one there or whatever, and you hit auto up. You bring it to there, you make your cut. Just remember to change it back to auto down. Before you come back, you get to the end of the cut, pick up, bring it back, and then you hit your drum switch. It'll bring you to where you want it to. Your pattern mode right there is the same thing we were showing you before. And there you go. You just go through all your settings. Now we're going to see, see on this setting, we're taking an inch and a quarter all the way down to the bed. The difference between pattern mode and auto down is that pattern mode knows where the bed is. Auto down just says... I'm gonna go down from wherever you pressed me. So if I'm here or whatever, there you go. What's nice about it is you can hit auto down. You made your cut. Say you don't know what kind of a board you wanna take. As long as you hit auto down, you can pick the head up and you can bring the head back and you can think on it for a while. Say you're thinking on it and you're saying, hey, no, maybe I wanna bring it here. No, maybe I want it here. No, all right, maybe here. Two inches, okay, so then we're, there you go, boom. You're in, you're locked in. It's, it's nice. It's like, uh, you know, I think it's similar to simple sat, but I'm not sure. So that's what we got. We're in the middle of leveling this girl up and, uh, my worker just took off down the road to go get some, uh, fork extensions, uh, from the pallet shop. See if we can't get them on here and move it. And well, we're, we were pretty close. It was a chore getting it into here. So figured that while we were taking a minute I'm supposed to be doing stuff he's gonna come back and yell at me but I figured I'd make you a nice little video <laughs> video video that's the word